What's up, Fisher fam? Welcome back for the week three recap. It was a very crazy week, uh, truly, truly. There were three matchups that went down to the final game and really kind of the last couple plays. It was pretty wild. I was the beneficiary of Monday night's game as well as uh, two other matchups. So the Bears, uh, Steve, beat Illinois Outlaw 117 to 116. Steve won by one point. And uh, he has Dallas's defense. And they got that late interception to end the game on Monday night. So that interception pulled him one point above Chi Chi. So uh, heartbreaker, Chi Chi. Sorry, uh, Steve. Way to pull one out. Uh, you dropped, um, I think, the Eagles defense right before kickoff on Sunday uh, for Dallas's defense. So that was actually a bad move. Eagles defense got you more points. So it wouldn't have been a nail biter uh, as much. Um, but crazy matchup there, one point. My matchup, Naughty Nashville versus Sons of Ditka John. Uh, I had 131. Sons of Ditka had 127. Uh, his team was completely done on Monday, uh, and my team was done except Saquon Barkley. Ever heard of him? It's pretty good. He got that huge touchdown uh, to pull me ahead. So that was a nail biter too. I didn't know if Saquon was gonna uh, put me ahead or not, and uh, he did. So uh, your only undefeated team, ladies and gentlemen, Naughty Nashville. Hey, the power rankings don't lie. Ball don't lie. The last matchup that was very, very close that went down to the last game was Evil the Dr. J versus Brad's House. Uh, this one uh, came down to Monday night and really late Monday night uh, as Brad's House had CD Lamb. And if you watch the game, CD Lamb dropped a wide open pass in the first half for what would be most likely a touchdown for him. Uh, he had a few other drops in the first half, came out in the second half and absolutely dominated and ultimately got a touchdown, pulling Brad's house uh, above E. Villa Dr. J by three points. So that was 115 to 112. Crazy matchups. Um, all three of them that went down to the final game. How exciting. That's uh, the beauty of fantasy. I was uh, dreading doing uh, this recording if I had lost. Uh, so. Thank you, Fantasy Gods. Uh, the rest of the matchups, uh, Chelsea uh, Gangsta CC 147 beat Indy Ballers 120. A uh, huge performance finally from Joe Burrow with 38 points. Uh, and Mark Andrews, uh, your second tight end, um, absolute baller. So good, good on you picking those tight ends. They're, they're working out for you. Uh, another matchup was Steph's husband, 91 points, lost to Gateway City Super Hornets at 106. Pretty lackluster performance from both teams, especially Steph's husband. Um, yeah, just try again uh, next week. It wasn't very, very good. The fantasy scores were down overall uh, across the board, so uh, kind of an off week a little bit. Uh, the last matchup to mention is the Guru with 97 points. That's pretty bad, Andrew. Not even triple digits. Uh, lost to Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage at 108. Um, so uh, we have a few 2 and one teams, a few 1-2 and two teams. I'm trying to see if we have any defeated teams. Ooh, sorry, John. Yep, Sons of Ditka is the only defeated team, uh, and it came out of heartbreak this week. Um, so, yeah, great week. Uh, that's the week three recap. Bow, 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 bow. Top Gun, Top Gun. Bow, bow, bow. Whoa, Gangsta CC. And she came in, led the league this week with an impressive 147 points. Nice. Okay, girl power. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea, way to go. Way to get that top gun. Yeah, way to go. Way to go. Uh, coach of the week. Week? Coach of the week. Week. Is coach that of the name? week, yeah. Coach of the week, W-E-A-K. Uh, oh, oh, I love Jesus. But sorry, Jesus, Steph's husband, you lost. 
with 91 points. (laughs) (laughs) Very good sound effects. (laughs) I hope everyone likes my sound effects. (laughs) Okay. That's the highs and that's the lows. Yeah. Yeah. Kelsey, do you have a special quote uh, for us this week? Of course I have. Last week, I think, was Vince Lombardi. This week, the quote is by Terrell Owens. Quote, I love me some me, unquote. If we could all live a little bit more like Terrell and love a little bit of us <laughs> yeah. some more. I love me some me. That's the quote of the week. And the tip of the week is I just found out that there is a player named Kelsey and everyone should have them on their team. And also that lamb dude was pretty cool, right? Travis Kelsey, though. Uh, Travis Kelsey. Who has Travis Kelsey? I think I think Gangsta CC. And yeah. that is why she's the top gun. So congrats, Gangsta CC. All right, fam. Updated week four power rankings ready coming at you. Number 12, Steph's husband. Ooh, bottom of the barrel. Sorry, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, number 11, the Bears. Number 10, TXKC, Broad's Hoss. Broad's Hoss. Broad's Hoss. Happy Oktoberfest, Broad's Hoss. Happy Oktoberfest, Broad's Hoss. <laughs> Fisher fam, happy October oh, first. Yeah. Fisher fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Fisher fam. Uh, number nine, Gateway City Super Hornets. If I recall correctly, I think they were atop the power rankings at preseason. So quite the fall uh, quite for the you. Fall. Number eight, Evil the Dr. J. Seven, Illinois Outlaw. Now we're on the top 50%. Number six, Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage. Quarterback camp, quarterback camp. Number five, Indie Ballers. Number four, Sons of Ditka. Wow, that's impressive because he's 0-3. And mm. for him. Yeah. I'm sure he'd rather take the wins. Okay. Uh, number three, top three, Gangsta CC. This week's Top Gun. Coming in second, The Guru. Ooh, that's some, uh, that's some brotherly uh, competition right there. Yeah, I'm going to beat him. You are because number one is... Naughty Nashville. Nashville. It's funny, at the beginning of us recording these, uh, it was kind of just fun to put Naughty Nashville at the top, but, uh, you know, now the only undefeated team, I think rightly so, Naughty Nashville at the top. Yeah, you best believe the moment you're not number one, (laughs) we're not doing these podcasts (laughs) anymore. Yeah, yeah. Where we'll just always put you top. That's true. My first loss, (laughs) I'm going to be like, no, no more We're like, pass it, pass it. Okay, week for matchups uh oh wait before i begin i need to announce to the league some breaking news that i just saw it might not be actually breaking oh it was as of this morning but breaking news to me because i just saw it the latest trade of the fisher fam fantasy football league brad's house trading tight end darren waller to Naughty Nashville, yours truly, for Pat Fryermuth and Damian Harris, tight end, and then Damian Harris running back. Blockbuster trade, blockbuster trade. I finally got my my star tight end. So very pumped about that. Good trade. Uh, and thank you for uh, listening to last week's episode about making trades because yeah thank uh, goodness brad he just keeps talking about no one's trades me mm -hmm. and i don't know what that means Mm -hmm. alex shared his football breaking news so my football breaking news is drum roll please (laughs) nice rihanna is doing the super bowl halftime performance so excited for this also so excited to hear all the unwanted commentary on Rihanna doing this halftime Super Bowl. So, so excited. Go team. Go Riri. Love it all. Umbrella. Oh, Ella. Ella. Okay, now week four matchups. We got 3-0 and Naughty Nashville going against 1-2 and the Bears. And oh. then, oh yeah, oh yeah. And, and Kelsey's going to put her two cents in. Yeah, well, my husband. <laughs> oh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> See you. Naughty Nash. Naughty yeah, Nash. Naughty Nash. Okay, next matchup. Gangsta CC coming in at 2-1 and one, uh, versus the defeated Sons of Ditka. 
Oh, well, I see a Kelsey right there. So always gangster CC. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Travis Kelsey, stick together. Next matchup is Indy Ballers coming in at two and one versus Illinois Outlaw one and two. Kels, Ooh, what, what I do think, you think Illinois Outlaw. Illinois Outlaw, Chi Chi, gonna prevail. Next matchup, the Guru one and two versus Steph's husband two and one. What do we think? Telling you, I'm always going for the underdog, and Steph's husband is very clearly the underdog this week. Yeah, true. So I'm going Jesus all the way. Mm. Oh, I would, always betting against Andrew Kelsey. I have to. It's part of the part of the agreement. Yeah, that's true. Gateway City Super Hornets one and two versus Evil the Doctor J one and two. Ooh, so pretty equal. Pretty equal. Um, James Taylor. I'm going with Gateway City. Jay Taylor, James Taylor, Gateway City Super Trooper <laughs> work. Super Trooper. Super Troopers, yeah. <laughs> um, Gateway Mama City Mia. Uh, next matchup is Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage 2 and 1 versus Brad's House 2 and 1. Who do you think? Yeah, Oktoberfest. It's Brad's House, baby. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, cheers. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. I think I was too close to the microphone again. Oh, that's all right. Have a great week, Fisher fam. Love you all. Miss you all. Hope you're enjoying uh, this cooler weather. Do I say that every week? I think I kind of do, but truly enjoy this uh, this nice football weather, proper football weather, and uh, go get some more fantasy dubs. Uh, check the waiver wire. Uh, keep looking out for my trades. They're working out for everyone. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, have a good week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.